<laughs> yeah. Wanna see what I got? Say. Oh, dang. Just I made it to Tamarindo after a six hour bus ride from San Jose. I'm walking along the beach right now. I'm basically here to visit my friend Ashton and uh, learn how to surf. So I'm staying at this hostel, it's called Selena, right here in Tamarindo, I just checked in. And uh, check, check out this beach. You see if there's, a, wow, look at that sunset. Hey, we're crossing the border from Costa Rica to Nicaragua. It's just a line of trucks and uh, we did the, got our passport stamp, had to pay a tax and I'm f um, going with a few of my fellow travelers. People place so much emphasis on borders but it's really not that big of a deal. I'm on my way to Honduras, then Guatemala, and Belize into Mexico. So. Oh no. No, no, um, Granada. Granada. I'm waiting on chicken bus. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, so. There's a bunch of stuff around here. I don't really want to buy anything though. I don't have a need for any of this stuff. 
Playboy Bunny. Hey, I'm walking through Granada right now, through this market, and I'm headed to my bus. I met a cool couple from London, and I was following them for a little while. And now I gotta get the bus to Managua. I'm walking around Lyon right now. There's one of the famous buildings back there. And uh, I'm actually headed to a private clinic because I have a pretty severe ear infection. I can barely hear out of this ear. So just checked into my hostel and walking around Lyon. It's a pretty interesting place. Coming from Granada, I'm gonna take a shuttle most likely to San Miguel in El Salvador. And then continue on to Guatemala City. Compra un producto y llévate el más grande por el precio de uno pequeño. A Giganta Refrigeradora Telsa de 8 a 10 pies. Antes a 11,699. Ahora a So I'm walking through Lyon right now on my way to catch a, a chicken bus to Chinandega, which I can then take to uh, catch a boat to El Salvador. There's a volcano nearby, which <clears throat> I'm actually walking through volcanic ash right now or something. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, so I don't really know where I'm going. But if I can find that boat, it's almost five o'clock, so hopefully it hasn't left yet. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. This is a hotel where I'm staying. It's really not much, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's a place to sleep. This is walking across the border from Honduras to El Salvador. Look. It's nice. I didn't spend any time in Honduras. I just took a shuttle straight through. The roads over there are atrocious. I wouldn't really want to spend that much time there. So, now I have to find a ride to the city. Hey, I'm walking through San Salvador right now. Just took a bus from uh, San Miguel. And uh, now I gotta find an ATM because I have no money. It's all Honduras dollars and different currencies. And funny thing is, they actually use US dollars over here. So, um, I may spend a day in San Salvador. I haven't really decided yet. I probably would just take a bus to Guatemala from here. Um, but I haven't eaten anything substantial for about two days. So, I'm really hungry and thirsty. Now I just have to find a bank or something so that I can exchange some currencies, uh, some money for dollars. Barrio, 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 barrio. Pagando Santiago, Santiago, Santiago. 
El Banco, por favor. El Banco. Donde El Banco? Never mind. Still, I can barely speak the language. Makes it kind of hard to get around. But there's a gas station over here, so I might be able to get from in there. Anyway. Is this the market? It's the market. Market, okay. Market El Colón. Ah. Gotcha. Is the hotel close? Hotel. Okay. I'm almost to the top of Santa Ana Volcano. Uh, it's a pretty tough hike. There's, um, there's just fog everywhere. And I'm with a large group of people. We're almost to the top. Uh, this should be the crater right here. The crater. Can't really see anything, unfortunately. Really been enjoying my travels so far, and uh, so far I've been on the road for about three months. It started out with a yoga meditation retreat that my friend Jenna and Josh uh, were organizing in Austin. That was about 10 days. And then from there, I went to Costa Rica. I was shooting for CostaRica.com for about a month. I uh, ended up losing my drone in Monteverde in a cloud forest, which is, you know, really unfortunate, but uh, there's nothing that can be done about it. I've just decided, instead of getting a new drone, screw that, <laughs> I'm going to continue traveling, which is really what I love to do more than anything else. Woo, peace! Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in uh, Belize in Punta Gordos. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this guy's from uh, Round Rock. Yeah, Austin. Round Rock, Texas. <laughs> Round Rock, home of the famous Round Rock Donuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good place. Yeah. Hey, James Bus.
definitely got some culture shock. Beautiful island off the coast of Belize. Look at this. I'm walking around uh, Key Calcor off the coast of Belize. It's a beautiful island in the Caribbean. And I'm actually about to I'm getting up to the shore now. Just checked into my hostel. I'm gonna spend probably about three nights here. It's a paradise. Parker. What's your name? Gilbert. Gilbert. Yep. Beautiful island. Yes, Cape Conquer. Yes, sir. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Amazing. Whew. What's up, dog? Take it out. today this area right here guys is the oldest reserve in belize 30 years old okay making it the oldest and the highly protected one here so what we do right here guys we're going to be splitting the group in two Oh yeah, Mexico City, what, I think yeah. it's 18 million people, something more, crazy? More, more than 20 million. <laughs> 
Hey, I'm in Tulum, Mexico. I'm walking along this rocky beach. After hiking for about two and a half miles from my hostel, and I took a shortcut through this uh, park, and some dogs ran out. One of them bit me on the leg. Luckily, it didn't break the skin or anything. Ah. Ah. Yeah, sorry, I tried to get to the beach. Shit. Okay, these dogs just bit me. This is the, the main beach, uh, Playa Paradiso, that I'm walking on right now. And I'm having the time of my life. Um, someday I'd love to own real estate here when I have the money. But in the meantime, uh, I'm just happy to be here. And I'll probably spend about five nights in Tulum before continuing onward. Uh, I'm gonna be meeting up with my friends uh, David and Brandy later today from Austin. Uh, they've been here for over a month and are gonna be leaving on Thursday. So they're gonna make me a nice home cooked meal, which is awesome because I haven't had one of those in ages. Um, but yeah, the water here, it's, it's very warm, turquoise blue. And this, this tree behind me here is pretty iconic. I see pictures of it all over Instagram. I'll take you in real quick. Waves crashing onto the beach. It's very shallow, so you can, you can literally just sit in the water and meditate or um, relax, whatever you want to do. Ah! <laughs> My phone's waterproof, which has saved me quite a few times. Oh, oh boy, that was a big wave. <laughs> this is Acumal Beach near Tulum in Mexico. Hey, I'm walking along Isla Mujeres, uh, Playa Norte. It's off the coast of Cancun. This place is absolutely beautiful. Look at the color of that water. I'm probably going to be going diving tomorrow at the hostel that I'm staying at, which is right on the beach. You can walk to the beach right along here. It's only... My room is about 200 pesos, which is roughly $10. People hanging out. They offer massages. It's a paradise. And look at this. Uh, sunset right now. I was just on the beach earlier. It's absolutely beautiful. Living the dream. This is what I love to do more than anything else. Look at this.
Do 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 Hello, my friend. Last scorpions. Last You're about to eat scorpions. Never again. Uh, here we go. Is that right? Yeah. Mm, it's crunchy. Crunchy. Yep. She so said. Bad. Another mezcal, yeah? That's Washing it down though. with mezcal. <sighs> Arriba Mexico! <laughs> But I don't wanna be away from ya She'd have never gone away from ya Came back, you're gone And you were right all along I, She'd have never gone away from ya I could have let you go away now Will you come back when I tell you sorry? You know I gotta know now If this is not the end of a story You know I gotta know now If you'll be here, I will hold ya this is not the end of a story You know I gotta know now I'm on the top of the Temple of the Sun Pyramids outside Mexico City The view up here is incredible Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I love Mexico. The culture here is very colorful. Um, people are very friendly. Um, I feel very accepted and invited to have these experiences here and you know get to share these with uh, my people back home. Do not fly Interjet. Do not fly Interjet. Do not fly Interjet. I'm stuck at the airport. I can't get my ticket back to San Antonio. They won't give me another one until tomorrow. I can't get a refund. Hey, I'm getting a taxi to the bus station because at the airport, they, uh, they wouldn't let me board the flight because I wasn't on time. Recording real quick. This is my taxi driver. <laughs> they wouldn't give me another flight. They wouldn't give me a refund. I couldn't afford another flight in the morning, and I'd have to wait like another 12 hours. 
Uh, so I have no way to get back to San Antonio now, except by getting a bus, which is going to be 16 hours. And I'm going to have to pay another $150 just to get back. So uh, I do not recommend flying on Interjet. They are not a good airline company. Um, choose American Airlines or something else. It's definitely possible to travel for cheap and uh, I want to teach other people how to do the same thing regardless of financial circumstances because travel is the only experience I believe that makes you richer and gives you a greater sense of purpose and wisdom in life.